Okay, stay with me. This is video number four of uh, four. So this is the last video and I want to cover the finishing of your production orders and the type of information that you stay, that you keep on these production orders because I know many of you want history, a lot of history files on past production orders. Now I'm going to be showing this with Manufacturing Plus. That's the uh, uh, role center that you're looking at here. So this is the Manufacturing Plus. It's designed, of course, to work with your Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. That's the software I'm showing it with. So uh, one little piece that I think I didn't mention in the last video, I think I better mention here before we go into the finished production orders. This is the released orders. Let me uh, just bring up one of these production orders here. And uh, there, there's an option to uh, let's see if I can find it here real quick. Um, I had two things. I didn't show you the production order statistics. I think I'm going to skip that. I want to go to the line in the production journal. So this is about finishing those production orders. So the production journal is where you can actually come in and record all the consumption. You can do it all in one pass. Basically, in the previous video, I showed you the consumption journal and the output journal. This journal combines those two into one where you can actually record the materials or change the consumption of materials that you use on this production order and you can also record uh, down here on the lines of, for the uh, routing you can record your setup time your run time in any of these positions as well as the output quantity that you have produced here so this is an important process and then once you get that entered you just post it and it then updates your inventory. Uh, you're basically adding through this, you're adding quantity on hand, in this case 10, to your finished good uh, quantity on hand so that you can, of course, uh, ship and invoice your products to your customer. That's the main purpose here. Okay, so you've finished that, and then you would simply, uh, you would want to run a function to change the status uh, from released to uh, finished. Uh, we would want the status to change to finish of that production order. And I want to take you into the finished production orders just so you can see the kind of information. I don't have a lot of sample data in here but enough to kind of get you going. So I'm going to go to my posted documents. I want to see the finished production orders. It's right there. So I've only got one but it'll give you an idea. So I've got, uh, let's just open this up. You'll notice it looks just about like a regular production order okay except the status now is finished so this is a finished production order it shows the quantity that I have finished or shows down here the estimated uh, cost information the actual cost information and of course my statistic windows are showing now with the actual cost because now it's a finished production order not one that's in process because those ones in process change so much but this is a finished one so I can see the actual work I have access to a variety of reports processes I can see my ledger entries my item entries my value entries and the one I like a lot is this production order statistics this lets me compare side by side my expected cost, well, it's actually got my standard cost showing. It's got the expected cost. It's got the actual cost side by side. And then what the deviation is between the two percentage. And then a dollar amount and standard cost deviation and expected uh, deviation. All of that is shown here. And what the capacity need was, hours, parts per hour, all of that. Very nice statistic window about that production order. This is for that finished production order. And quite frankly, I didn't show this to you, but this is this same statistic window here is available on your released and even your simulated production orders. Of course, on simulated, there is no actual cost. It's only actual cost on your um, uh, the um, uh, released orders is where you're going to post your time and your material consumption. 
Okay, um, so I wanted to show you that. And again, the main concept here is these finished orders have basically the item at this stage, in this case just five, but the item has already been uh, uh, pushed to inventory. So you have five on hand that you can ship and invoice uh, to the customer. That's the, the objective of the whole thing anyway, is to be able to ship and invoice your finished goods uh, to the customers. So I wanted to give you this little kind of overview of not only the business central manufacturing part, but also some of the enhancements. I think you saw quite a few of them here with the Manufacturing Plus uh, app that's created by Cost Control. I hope you like it. If you have any questions about it, I certainly want you to pick up the phone and, and give me a call. Uh, if you would like a brochure or um, a list of all the features that are in there, I've got a, a nice detailed listing of all the features. I didn't get to show everything, but enough to kind of get you uh, hopefully excited about it. We certainly love what we've done to enhance and make the usability of this Dynamics 365 Business Central uh, much, much easier to use, especially in the manufacturing uh, sectors. Okay, uh, thanks very much. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, be in touch. Thanks.